Back in my days, we played with sticks and stones. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and dinosaurs. <laughs> like, back in my day, we went outside. <laughs> <laughs> we just stared at the sun until <laughs> we burn our eyes out. <laughs> oh, I did that once. That's why I'm wearing these glasses today. <laughs> All right, y'all. So my name is Chris Miller. Alongside hosting with me, I have Montgomery. And we have some teens here in our podcast. I'm going to introduce starting with... Uh. Hi, my name's Nathan. I do nothing because I'm boring like that. That's not true. He actually takes photos. He has, he's a photographer. He's actually a poet, too. He didn't um, know it. Yeah. He's a poet. <laughs> <laughs> Your current. Jermaine. Oh, okay. All right. We weren't doing Monty. I forgot Monty no. was just all right. All right. It's Jermaine, you know, also known as Jay Traumatic. Right back at it. You know, a surprise. I was supposed to be here today, but I just came through just to talk about you know, my childhood <laughs> with one of my childhood friends. You're not touching me. <laughs> <Ew>. uh, <laughs> introducing. Get away from me. Uh, I'm just going to. That's a whole other wait. memory. Hi, guys. I am currently disturbed. <laughs> um, my name is Lowell Thomas, a.k.a. the procrastinating college student. Um, little words of advice. If you're given 100 questions to do at the beginning of the semester, you do those 100 <laughs> questions <laughs> immediately. <laughs> Okay. Sup, so, my name is RJ. I'm not gonna tell you my real name because I don't like it. But I'm a, okay. I'm a very, very, very amateur artist, and I'm just here to talk about my childhood memories. Cool. Oh, cool. Uh, what's up, name is Lino. No, known as Yo No. I rent truck. Yeah, let's talk about my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I have a question. So where do you think your childhood memories actually start? What's the youngest memory that you have? I can't remember none of my ages. Dang. Oh, Not Jesus. One. Okay. Oh, hey, don't Alzheimer's. Remember, like, <laughs> the older you get, it's like, you know, you remember less of your childhood. You think you remember less when yeah. you get older? The older is, you get. Is that true, Monty? Why are you looking at me? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only one. You don't think about it. <laughs> it was, like, when you was 10, like, everything was so vivid. But, like, now you're, like, you know, 17 well, and stuff like that. You could, like, you, know, you said 10. That's interesting because I was uh, 10 in 1977. And when Star Wars came out, mm-hmm. it was like my life started. Mm-hmm. That was it, <laughs> because I remember that movie leaning forward and wanted to see that movie over and over again. That, that's what got me to love movie soundtracks, because that was my first album was Star Wars. So prior to that, yeah, I mean, I have some images of watching Star Trek, but 77, that was like, I'm here. So mm-hmm. before then, not so much. <laughs> so, it's, so you still remember it vividly to this day? Oh, yeah. But so, that's the thing. That's the thing. The person who I am started basically at the age of 10. So all okay. the sci-fi stuff, my love of music of that nature, that all came from the age of 10. Mm. Um, for me, it's like not the age of 10, but it's like the age of three. That's, how, that's <laughs> literally how old. far. Do you remember that? Yes, wow. that's how far back I can remember because I remember at the, I think it has to do with something that's like that like it means it just means a lot to you and it's like it has that emotional attachment Mm -hmm. so the reason why i remember like the age from like the age of three onward is because like the age of three where it's like i started playing video games you know and i was amazing at video games i tell people all the time yo Uh. your boy at the age of your boy at the age of three beat super mario 64. (laughs) come on guys that's that's a hard game for you know small my hands were. Have you seen the <laughs> Nintendo 64 controller? I was trying to picture it just now. I was like, it is okay. mad it disgusting. It, it it looks like the letter M, but the middle part comes down like farther than this. So yeah, uh, <laughs> the um. So yeah, the age of three, because it's just like from that point on, I'm just like, oh, like everything just happens so vividly. And I think just like everything in my life has just been like painted, just like vivid enough. So I'm just like, oh, I remember that. That's like worth noting or remembering you still remember it vividly to say. Yeah. i remember like bro i remember i remember always waking up like every saturday morning this is not just like that basically like oh yeah like we woke up every saturday morning and just like ate cereal and watched tv no like i remember wake up saturday mornings they had like a tarzan tv show like uh like uh like the cartoon show mm-hmm. yep anybody remember that yeah. i remember that yeah. i remember yeah. fox box See, most of you kids don't know what Foxbox is. You guys had four kids. I had kids WB. Like oh. this is like that's what like I grew up on. Like on Saturday mornings, you know what I mean. I had 
no. Mom, I always say that my mom kind of like raised me like five year, four years backwards because like all the kids they had like GameCubes and all that. I still had Nintendo sixty four and VHS tapes. Mm-hmm. I was like raised backwards, bro. And then cool. Yeah. So I want to go back to what Lana stated earlier. So do you actually think it's true that when you get older you don't remember? You don't remember memories. You don't remember as much. So. Unless you got all time is in denial. Nah, like, I mean, there, the there, there's certain gaps in my memory, but then like, I, I remember fight. like like certain scenes that will make me remember the entire picture. You know, it's like it's certain pieces. You get what I'm saying? It's like a collage. It's like know? a recap. That's what memory is a collage type stuff. So. Yeah, like, you're not really okay. going to remember what you did Monday at like 10 o'clock. You feel me? Okay. So, well, yeah, that's yeah. exactly yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. But you have to think, like, how do you fill up your life with moments to remember and fun? Or in like memories with the people that you love and stuff like that, then you'll remember it. But like if, if you're spending life, what at work, I ain't remembering what <laughs> what client I talk to. Who, who, who do I talk really, to today? That, that one called work. That one, <laughs> that one client that I talked to. Yeah, it wasn't really eventful. Changed my life. Yeah. Okay, so I know I think I agree with Lionel though. You're not, you don't remember your everyday activities when you was younger, because definitely like mm-hmm. you're not. I think your brain could only hold so much. Well, uh, that's that's like. I'm sorry. I, I took psychology senior year, so I know so much. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but um, your brain actually like the whole like only holds so much. Your brain knows all this information. Your brain obviously remembers everything, but I think it's just like over time, it has to basically sort out what information is like important and what is like not so important. So it's just like, do I really need to remember this time I fell out of a tree? Not really, but do I need to remember that my grandmother's birthday is on like this date? So like it makes that like like long term memory just selects what's really needed at that time. Okay. Low key, I'm so backwards because I remember like it was probably third grade or second grade. Yeah. No, it, it was third grade, and I flew off. You know that little that little yeah. thing that you push uh, as a kid, and it makes it spin and yeah. it's on the ground. Yeah. There's a lot of things that you push and spin as a child. And no, no, but like it's, it's on the ground. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? Yeah. I flew off it. You talking about the merry-go-round? Yeah, the merry-go-round. Yeah. I flew off yeah. the merry-go-round, bro. <laughs> what? Like, we all pushed it together, yeah. and we all just hopped on, you know? I said I did it, bro. See, I, that's where you messed up. See, just I'm going. just pushing and walking I think away. I had several concussions <laughs> as a kid. That's why, I mean, You're I am the way I am. That's why you're Jimmy talking. Yo. That, it was that your youngest memory? Second what? second no, grade? My oh, youngest no. memory probably got to be, man, the champ. Uh, yo, a lot of people don't have trampolines nowadays. Yo, people yo, aren't fun. People show. aren't fun. I'm going to buy a trampoline See, like, from my yard. My, yeah, my memory like, about trampolines, tra- trampolines, bro, I remember I got jumped. You like, got jumped on a trampoline? Right by a trampoline. Oh, by, by a trampoline. Yeah, and like, <laughs> <laughs> yo, that's so funny. You got yeah. jumped by a trampoline? <laughs> 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 that was a good one. I'm not gonna lie. To that. Bro, you got jumped by a trampoline, bro. Like, what? Good thing you guys yeah, aren't got, my therapist. I got jumped by one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's over now. <laughs> now I just started. Dude, I would write that in a song, bro. That's bar. I'm not gonna bro. write that, that in a is, song. No, no, got jumped by a trampoline. No, no, like. that's a scene in the movie, bro. Like, wait, so you're saying that you got jumped by it? Bye yeah, the yeah, bro. Did you get jumped on the? No, I got jumped. Like so, by it. Like. So did they jump on? No, it was on the side of it, bro. I'm what? telling like, you. Yeah, and my older brother watched, and my oh mom my came God. home and just beat him up because she was like, "Why would you watch your older, little brother get jumped?" <coughs> yeah. You weren't oh. jumping on the train. You got jumped. My legs. Like, That's right, why so, I know I always want to fight now. But Jermaine, go ahead and finish your youngest memory. You oh yeah, yourself. but like it was really like cookouts, listening to like Marvin Gaye in the background. And like as a kid, because you know, because my my great grandma used to throw like these these big parties in the back just for anything. Let's say it's somebody's birthday, Thanksgiving. They made sure that they got the date down. And as like coming up in a Caribbean household, you know, just had so much food. Like always had fried fish, mashed potatoes. 
good good times and then you know also in ghouls by triangle park i remember you know nights where we used to have church's chicken with some hot sauce on the cabbage <laughs> and you know the hot sauce on the chicken man y'all ate did. church's chicken your family disgusted them yo man that was my ghouls family if you live in ghouls you eat church's chicken bro Truly. if i'm living what? anywhere near church's chicken i'm driving to a popeyes <laughs> no 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 popeyes it. better though exactly so i'm driving to a popeyes popeyes crack i'm right. wasting the gas <laughs> 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 so, Yo, it get the dopamine oh off real God. good. Hashtag Cookout. <laughs> Cookouts in the yard, that's, that's dope. Kentucky Any, uh, crack. what about you, Robert? My youngest memory? Yeah. I can't sort them out. I don't know which one was the youngest or the oldest. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I can take my favorite memory from when I was young. Go for it. I bet. Now, this memory is what somewhat inspired me to start drawing. Like, like it really pushed me towards drawing more animation type stuff. My brother came home from college one day. He was just visiting for the weekend. And like he had called me from my Xbox. First time I got an Xbox, I regret that decision. It's all about PlayStation, but that's besides <laughs> the point. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so like he had just called me and told me to come in. Usually if anybody called me off my game, I'll just act like I'm like death. Like, I can't hear nothing you just told me. I'm too busy playing this game. But him, I, res I respect it. So I went over there. He was like, hey, you want to you wanna draw some superheroes with me? I was like, what? Oh you, what? <laughs> you want to draw some superheroes? I was like, okay, bet. He sat there and started sketching out the drawings. And I'm just like, I don't, I don't know any words besides like puzzled and fun put together. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't know any words. I was just excited to see it. When like he drew it, he asked me what, what powers they wanted. I was like, they don't already have them. I, I was like, yo, <laughs> he like he doing with lightning, fire. You know that show, Static Shock. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was that show. Yeah. He then drew him. I was like, what is this? As I grew up, I I, I learned about it. Best best drawer in the class. Hmm. Everybody wanted me to draw for him, and I was into like or origami. So, yeah, that too. Yeah. How how old were you when uh, when your I friend was, invited you over to draw superheroes? That was my brother, and I was say like eight, seven, one of those. I was young. Cool. What about you, Nate? Youngest memory. My foot bled profusely. What? <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear this story. <laughs> so Nathaniel and Payne. Like, yes. Uh, <laughs> I think it was third grade. Nathan was not the smartest kid. Same. Um, Second grade. First. I, didn't, I didn't know your name was Nathan. For some odd reason, I decided one day that while I was at my grandmother's house playing with my dog and just running through the grass as kids do, um, that I decided my foot was very, very, very itchy. <laughs> and I looked around to see what I could scratch my foot on because uh -oh. I was... I was a kid and I was, I was too Wait, tired to like mind. bend down and scratch my, my foot. Right so I saw this brick. Monty is playing. Oh, brick. Right. <laughs> I saw this brick. Oh. Wait, you scratched your itch with a brick? Yep. <laughs> Wait, what grade was you in? I was in like third. <laughs> I, so I didn't even look down while I was scratching my foot across a brick. Um, and I just, I, skin, I don't even know why, but I just kept going and going and going. And I remember, I literally remember a stop. And I was looking around and I was like, it smells like blood. <laughs> no. It smells like pure yeah, iron. Yeah. Was, was it, it's like that. For yes, sure. it was. <laughs> I still have the mark on my foot. Don't need to see that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a really small mark. Oh, yeah. Daniel, you, have, you, have, you ever got a splinter as a kid, man? Yo, I got yeah. a splinter at the bottom of my foot. Oh, it was God. mulch, man. It was, you ever, it was like, you know, the little red mulch? Yeah. My dad, we used to like put it for our palm trees, and I ran through the yard, and I got like this big piece at the bottom of my foot. So as soon as I got home... Like my mom was just like, okay, well, I have some tweezers, mm -hmm. and what I cried. Tweezers, you like, need pliers. Oh, what? <laughs> mulch? Oh my God, you just got mulch. Mulch. <laughs> 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 That's the weirdest. <laughs> like, like, like. All right, so that that reminds me, right? I had a splinter. I want to know like, what happened to the. To the yeah, to bro. The like, how did you just? How did you take it out? Y'all are some weird kids, bro. <laughs> yeah, they took it out. Man. That yeah, wasn't even like, the end of my story, dude. 
Oh, oh what? It was it was Wait. depressing the <laughs> ending. Whoa, yeah. Wow. So, so you smelt the blood. I smelt the blood for a good two minutes, <laughs> and I was still running around in the grass. That was the worst part. I was just like still playing with my dog and running around in the grass, and the entire time I hadn't looked down at my foot. He just left one foot trail around. <laughs> <the dog. laughs> yeah. So I run inside. And I was going to call my mom to, like, show her something that my dog could do or something. And my mom was like, Nathan, what's wrong with your foot? <laughs> and that's when I finally looked, looked down. And I couldn't even see my foot, how much blood there was. Yeah. There was so much blood that it covered my entire foot <laughs> up until, like, the back of my head. So, wait, you mm. walked inside out. I this, walked inside. Was there inside. carpet on this house? No. no. So, so, okay. so, this is, so this is. It was granite. So, oh. All right. I thought it was so you didn't say, okay, my foot feels wet. <laughs> no, I, didn't even, I didn't even feel my foot wet. Couldn't even hear the squishing. Like, that's that's how, foot. like, numb. It was so bad. My, my, foot, my foot went numb, like, <sighs> like 12 minutes ago. <laughs> um, Nathaniel, you were wrong. You still have that mark today. Yeah. Um, I'm still surprised on how calm your mom was. Like, ah, uh, Nathan, like, you got a rest. She thought it was, like, some sort of, like, hate, <laughs> I guess, because I was taking it so lightly. I was like, yeah, it's... <laughs> it's it just, it just blood. <laughs> <laughs> and you know when you're a kid and you don't realize that There's you're hurt? Bike so, like, if your nose is bleeding, you're like, uh, uh, wait. <laughs> so I looked at my foot, and all three of my cousins were sitting on the couch. They were all looking at me. They were like, dude, you're, how are you not, like, passed out already? Oh, yeah, that's what I was waiting for him. Like, and right. so I cried and I cried and I cried and I screamed and I got my foot cleaned up they cried and it more. turns out that I had scratched so hard you could see my bone. Oh, oh my God. God. I still Jeez. have, to this day, it was probably the greatest itch I had ever gotten. <laughs> <laughs> like, it felt so good. Uh, was it worth it? Yes. It doesn't sound worth it. That foot it will never itch again. <laughs> so, uh, who has it? Uh, Lina, you haven't shared your youngest memory. Man. My oldest memory? Oh, sure. Yeah. Uh, I think my oldest memory had to be like when I was living little Haiti. At the time, it was like, it was mostly struggle though, because like, you know, it was a small house, like mm, two bedrooms, one bath. I remember like taking a shower one day and like somebody got electrocuted, but like it wasn't like that <laughs> bad, but like so it got shocked. <laughs> so like I remember I had to take a, take a bath in the shower. My mom had a baby in the shower and stuff. I remember one time we went to Haiti for like a whole month and like we actually left the back door open so like two possums went inside the house. <laughs> we got possums. back. Possums. <laughs> and like you always hear like during the night, we got during the night like, you know, things we eat the bread and we wake up the next morning and see like, you know, like big bite marks on the bread and stuff like that. So like we was wondering like what was that? Like we had rats, you know. Then one day my dad he just stepped with a machete, he heard some things, he got up. Like, cut the possum head off. Oh. Yeah. Dude. Just cut it off? Like yeah, that? Savage. Yeah, that's like, awesome. Yeah, and like, yeah, other one, never found awesome. the other one, so, you know, then he just got a cat to, you know, to scare it off or whatever, but like, I guess the possum was so big, the cat was scared of it, so, yeah. You gotta get, like, a rot rattler. Right? <laughs> this was in Haiti, right? No, Little Haiti. Little Haiti? Uh, I used to live in the city. Oh, okay. Little oh, Haiti. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. that's the city, bro. That's the city for you, bro. <laughs> Jeez. Well, you got a, tell him about Prime, bro. We got one new guest with us. Uh, you want to introduce yourself? With your name? <laughs> <laughs> my name is Amart. All right, Amart. So we're talking about childhood memories, and the question was, what's your youngest memory? Your youngest memory. What, memory what that you remember. Give me your oldest memory? Nope. Yeah. Well... Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Shit. Earliest yeah. memory, but yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, but of my childhood, though. Yeah. Um, the the youngest memory I remember I probably got is our first girlfriend. Okay. I was younger. I was like, I was like <laughs> kindergarten. Oh, Ma, what you doing back uh, there, bro? My neighbor. She, we was in the same class and all. She used to uh, pay my mama five dollars to get me to come outside every day. My mama would tell her. Wow. I her she was mama. feeding your family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, girl, okay, you give you a dollar. You know where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she. But my mama saved it up. She ain't never like keep it. Like she, well, she kept it. She, you're not gonna get nobody no money. You can't okay. get it back. <laughs> <What>? But yeah. <laughs> 
that was that's old. Was yeah, that like I a, got married to her. That's why, cause we you feel me got married in the driveway. My sister was the priest. Wait, you flogged it? Nah, I'm dead serious. Amar <laughs> <laughs> uh, got married here. She at used the to call uh, when she said my name. She never said Amar. She would say I'm mad. Like, <laughs> how, how old are you? Kindergarten, you're like five, right? Yeah. Five, five, six. That's some love that right there. Whole that's some, that's some on love and basketball. That's a, <laughs> <laughs> you can not get married. That's a, that's a Spike Lee film right there. <laughs> on a low. Um, my youngest memory, I don't know why, it just kept coming back to it. So I used to live in Hartford, Connecticut. And I just have these vivid memories of just like the snow. Um, I think because I live in Florida now and you don't get to experience snow as much. So yeah, I just remember... Like playing with the snow, building a snowman. I've actually built snowmans before um, with my younger sister. Um, just feeling the frostbite. Just feeling, just looking at the tall buildings, that just city type of vibe. Uh, those are some of the youngest memories that I have. I saw it. I wanted to see snow. I never saw snow before. Yeah, it's worth it, bro. Travel. It's, it's a bad time. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be there. Just make sure you don't touch the yellow snow. Yeah, that's, <laughs> nah, that's the rule. Oh, really? If it's yellow, let it go. Is it yellow? Is it, is it, nah, it's it lemonade, man. It's raining lemonade. It's raining lemonade. Yeah. yeah. All right, so it's lemon. <laughs> it is lemonade, bro. What you mean? So you guys have shared your youngest memories. Um, and I think Monty kind of touched on this one, so I'll let you go first, Monty. What is the memory that made your childhood, though? That like made it. Not the youngest, but the memories that like still affects you to this day. Uh, you guys don't have to share anything negative if you want. It's okay. But like the childhood, the memory that made your childhood more on like the fun side, the, you know, inspired. So Monty, you were saying earlier. Well, continue along the, the Star Wars line. So watching the Saturday morning cartoons, making the fort in front of the TV, having cereal start collecting Star Wars toys. So I would have whatever little adventures while watching TV, eating my cereal, by the side of morning cartoons, and just playing with my Star Wars toys. So I still have my original uh, Star Wars Kenner action figures. Still to this day. When you were, since you were 10? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I, I guess I was a hoarder back then too. Okay. Because I don't want to throw stuff out. Is yeah, it okay? Like, would you share how long has that been? Uh, well, Star Wars has been out since 77, so that's about 41 years. Wow. So, and I have uh, program books when you would go to the theater and they would sell souvenir programs of that movie. Star Wars was my first one, and I have it wrapped in plastic, so it's like sealed in like mid condition. That's probably worth. That's not going to be worth to anybody because no. it's up to me. <laughs> but I used to love going to the movies. You know, I'll go to the movie by myself. So, it really got me into loving cinema and going into other genres like uh, horror movies and, and just comedies and, and Disney. So it was just a, a manifest uh, thing that just kind of rolled after all that. Because I love comic books, I love toys, I love cartoons. and so Cool. So, you know, it's, it's the nerdiness thing. Yeah, yeah. You just don't let that get in the way of you not having a relationship with other things like people. <laughs> Bathing, but uh, <laughs> yeah, so it, it's you can still do that even at my age, which is now 50. <laughs> uh, but now I get to do it with my kids, yeah, so they're having their own little things. But it's fun to kind of to pass along what I learned and what I loved with cool. them. So, all right, what about you guys? Anyone could jump in. Mm, what really made my childhood, yeah, honestly. What really, man, goals, the, the days on Ghouls Park, it was like 06, probably 07. And like, that's when Lil Wayne, uh, mm -hmm. the Carter, what Carter was that? I think the Carter 3 came out. No, Carter 3 is like 08 summer. Uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, more 08 summer then. And I was like nine years old, and I, all I remember is just like, yo, Mrs. Officer always used to play Lollipop. Yeah, and uh, like all those songs from the project, honestly, it's just always just being played on the airwaves. Uh, Kanye's uh, uh, 808s and Heartbreak came out like that year as mm -hmm. well, too. I think so, yeah. So that was always on the radio. Even uh, Kanye also had a song with, dog, oh, what's Jordy's name? Was it Kisa? No, it wasn't Kisa Cole. What was that song? It was, it was, it was him, a guy, and a female, man. 
It's bad well, details. It Our wasn't off his album. He was featured on there. Uh, I think Harry Hilson. It was a Harry Hilson song. Yeah, Knock yeah. You Down. Yeah, Knock You Down. That song's fire, bro. Neo. That song's fire. Neo yeah, Neo there. was on there. <laughs> yeah, like this. Oh, Neo. Yo, Neo from my top. No. Bad man, bad man, bro. Okay. Bad man. So, yeah, I really remember that. Just the music as a kid. Just yeah, when I used to yeah. listen to T-Pain, used to be on the radio. Yeah. Uh, Ross, especially when he <laughs> came up, oh, Rick Ross, yeah. Up. So all I really, really remember is that you know hanging out with my uh, with my uncle and his older friends back in uh, Cutler Bay. So yeah, that was uh, cool, cool. Playing throwback football and stuff. I was bad at it though. See <laughs> me on the court though. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> How you bad at throwback <laughs> football, bro? Like come on, like nobody was bad at throwback. <laughs> Any, anyone else? Oh. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Yeah. I'm confused. Okay. What happened? I'm sorry. All right. Uh, but yeah, I think like music played a huge part, but like it's not 08, I would say like the year before. And also, like, I remember because, like, with me, I was never one of those kids. Like, my mom didn't buy me album. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like, how I got like most of my music was me and my brother would go on YouTube and we would just listen to music. That's how like we also started rapping too because we would listen to like our favorite songs. We would throw on an instrumental and we just sit inside our room and just like yeah. freestyle for like hours and hours yeah. on end. But um, that made like my childhood. I remember like me and him like staying up late nights and we would just be playing like video games. So like for me and him, it was like Kingdom Hearts. Like Kingdom Hearts 2 was like the biggest thing because like, you know, to, to both of us, like, individually, like, we could get through the game, but it's, like, be some parts of like, oh, crap, like, you die right there. Let me get it, like, back. And anybody remembers, yo, Nate, you played Kingdom Hearts, right? Yeah. Kingdom I played Hearts 2? Yeah. Zig Barfight. How you feel about that? Wait, what? Zig Barfight. Zig? Yeah, bro. Yeah. That one. The dude with um, the guns. I think I either got my cousin or my older sister. See? Beat it. That fight right there. If you take two of us, all right, me and my brother have, like, like we get angry easily, right? So if you take both of us losing that game, like, for an hour straight, a hundred times for, like, the stupidest reasons, you end up with a lot of broken controllers. Mm-hmm. And uh, Mama wasn't buying another one, so, like, we had to be smart. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, it's, it's just, like, that little stuff. So, like, just listen. I remember, like, we'll have music playing in the background while we're playing these games. So it's like Kingdom Hearts, Midnight Club, um, Grand Theft Auto. I remember like my um, my stepdad, my brother, and like his um and his brother like they'll be having um, competition because in San Andreas, if you get like a bike and you start hitting like um and you hit a wheelie, it like logs how long like you've been doing a wheelie for, so like, mm-hmm. how many miles, and they'll just have competitions to see like who could do the longest one. So like just that little stuff just like reminds me of like that was what my childhood was just playing video games. And music, bro. Where's this answer? Ahmad, what about you? Just threw me out there. Um, what was the key saying? What, so, what memories m- made your childhood? Like, what memories do you have? Your childhood that, like, made it? <laughs> Not necessarily the youngest one, but. Who well, you had to beat up? I mean, <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of memories made my childhood, you feel me? Like, Sure, one Cause I, I ain't never really like see everybody else. They had like childhood, childhood. Like oh, I could do this. I could have fun. I ain't never really have all that. Like all I had was sports. You feel me? Football. All I had was something that make sure to keep me out of trouble. You feel me? Okay. Um, sure that. That um, sports. It made it made my childhood because it showed me how to like be productive with other people. You feel me? How to communicate with other people sometimes even when it's hard to, and like. It, it just taught, it, taught, it showed me how to be tougher, you know. Playing football, I was when I was um playing, I was I was like heavier than other people, mm-hmm. you feel me? But younger, so I played like it was like this thing. It's like younger, and, like old, like heavier, older. It's like some different know, weight. Yeah, it's class. different weight classes. Yeah, so I'm I'm mm-hmm. younger than everybody. I'm playing with all the big kids. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I'm getting ran over by everybody, but at the same time, I'm still playing. You feel me? One youngest kid playing with all the big kids is playing um 90 pounds and that that like. I kept me together, you feel me, made me strong, because, I mean, think about it, all the stuff that go on nowadays, you feel me, you got to be, you feel me, you got to have that, like, type of mentality to be strong, that type of mentality mm-hmm. to be able to work with other people and, you feel me, conduct yourself right, you know. That's 
good. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Snap hard. Uh, Nate. Um, first grade career day. First grade career day. Okay, what happened? Um, for some odd reason, oh I was the gosh. only first grader that decided to say, instead of being like a cop or a fireman, I decided to say electrical engineer. Okay. And I guess my mom stuck with that. So every single time someone would ask me, so what do you want to be when you grow up? Since the first grade, I've always said electrical engineer. And now uh, I'm a sophomore in high school and I don't want to be an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much told myself a lie <laughs> for what about 16 can't? years. At, what, wait, you said in first grade, bro? Yeah. How do you even know? <laughs> okay, the so there is in the row, like he was a smart. There guy. was, of course, like the fire truck, the cops over there, and then there's like the weird business people that yeah, worked for like the office, <laughs> and then uh, there was just this one cool white truck that lifted you into the air, and the guy and that was told up, you that told no, you. No, right it there. wasn't even the part that lifted him into the air. It was just <laughs> the guy was being dropped down and he said, I'm an electrical engineer. <laughs> there's two types of electrical engineers. Uh, there's an outdoor and an indoor. The indoor powers everything uh, in your room and the outdoor is just what I do, which is uh, like work on telephone poles, light poles, stuff like that. Okay. And, from and a young age. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, it was just like, <laughs> and then he dropped out. And that's when you decided. Uh, I was like, dude, I want to, I want to do that, that's but that's electrical engineer. I want to be an indoors yeah, bro, electrical like, engineer. And like, like, who wants to put growing out fires? Up, I always nah, had, bro. Nah, bro, I want to fix your like, cable. <laughs> growing up, I always had ideas for like inventions and stuff that would require a lot of electrical engineering. Like this right here. When I was ten, I had this idea for a um, a fridge that would tell you everything that was inside and whenever you wanted to you could make notes as to what you needed and you could like look for recipes and stuff and then like a year later that happened they made that and it was like God, oh, i should have made it i should have gotten a patent mm, cool. yeah it'd be like that yeah i just yeah. have like random inventions in my head now <laughs> that's kind of cool though that's I don't know, it's just kind of funny. That man, yeah. <laughs> it was like, oh. you, you are now beating the legend. All right, so Lionel, what about Loud you? Loud truck, though. What, me and my childhood? <laughs> mm. What memories? Probably, like, when I went to Maze, I met, like, my dog, Kamori. Like, we just, honestly, like, we instantly clicked, you know, just started off far enough with Snook, because, you know, we both had, like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> we both had low boys. So. <laughs> okay. I saw him, like, I slapped this look, you know, I started firing him up, you know, we both started firing each other up, and we just, like, you know, started roasting each other, and ever since then, we just got cool, you know, uh, started kicking doors, uh, kick, kicking uh, garbage cans out of uh, the class, you know, was, yeah, that's stuff like that. I don't know. That was ninth grade, what, we boy, yeah, that's friendship, done, that's, no, that's how me and Jermaine became friends, because I walked inside, what, it was Mr. Barreto's class, first moment, and I saw this boy, and I was, for, like, completely relentless, I did not care, <laughs> I didn't know, I didn't take the time to learn this man's name. I ain't care about his background. I ain't care. I just went in. <laughs> I just roasted him for the first moment, and he would just get so yeah. mad. Like, yeah. he, he like I that. know y'all was in class. You know what the ver worst, worst part is, bro? We had two classes together. We really did. We had, so it was we like, had first period and the last period of the day, bro. So I was like, bro, I'm going to see you now, and just <laughs> know <laughs> when I see you at the end of the day, you're going to get it again. So it's like, take your, take your two periods to cool down, take your lunch to cool down. This but once time. we step in that eighth period, you're going to get it again. Um, and now I got to put up with it every day. <laughs> I'm uh, <laughs> kill myself. I definitely, man, there's a lot of memories. Definitely friendships, playing video games, uh, whether it's Call of Duty, or even there was this other game before Call of Duty. It wasn't as good, but... Quake Engine? It, it was, it was, it was not as good, but it, 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 it made it made the days with my friends. And we would all play, especially when my dad would take the TV on the outside. We live in a... We live in an uh, apartment complex, but he'll take the TV outside and then all the kids will come and we'll just play. That was pretty dope. But for some reason, the memories that keeps coming back is my relationship with my dad. And I specifically remember writing my first rap. I believe it was my first rap. I was about six, seven years old. Chris Miller G starting out young. <laughs> Dude, I, it was, I remember to this day, I had, I had the paper 
to like five years ago. I, I don't know how I lost it, but I wrote something like bling, bling, bling. My name is Ring. Something, 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 because I'm going to find my queen. And it, it was pretty good. It was, you know, it was, I was young. Shout out to my boy Ring. <laughs> <laughs> Young uh, morning, ring, ring, ring. I showed it to my dad, and like I, I remember us having a conversation. We were sitting in the truck, and I was like, because he always inspired me, and that kind of made my memories just watching him rap. And he would rap in Spanish too, so it was oh, reggaeton. Yeah, like, bro, you rap in Spanish, yo. dude. It's rapping anything in Spanish, bro, just sounds amazing. It's yeah, lit, so dude. It, it is so lit, bro. Say, like dumb stuff. You just sound amazing because everything just sounds like it rhymes. So it's like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> Yo, that's like that. Yo. But, uh, he goes with his R. So like seeing him do that, I was like, all right, so I want to learn how to rap too. So I remember writing my, I was just asking him like, hey, so how do you, what do you, so you just basically rhyme? Is that what it is? You write sentences and you rhyme. He was like, yeah, he was like basically teaching me. And when I wrote the first rap, he looked over it and he encouraged me. I was like, that kind of set off the childhood memories down to like later on to when we were in middle school and high school. I remember producing something with them in our laptop. It was in FL Studios, actually, when FL Studio just became FL Studios right after it changed from Fruity Loops. And um, yeah, we ripped it off. We got the free version, making the beats. <laughs> and so that Everybody definitely that helped make that, that had helped make my childhood just taking that craft and working on it. That's that's cool. Yo, did like <laughs> did everybody start writing their raps at six and seven years old, bro? Because this just sounds like a trend at this point. Like, is it like I don't know because like I say my older brother like basically got me into rapping, but like my first time like writing my own rap, I remember I was like in after school care at R. Moton, right? So it's like and I was always like the standoffish kid, so I, I didn't really mess with anybody. So I remember like I opened like this orange composition book. And I didn't start at the first page because, like, starting at the first page is, like, too annoying. But, like, I started in, like, the middle of the book, and I just wrote all on, like, the right side. I didn't, like, spread it out throughout the page. It was all, all on the right side. I just remember, like, writing this, like, long rap, right? And then, like, I completely forgot about it. And then, like, I remember it just ended up in my mom's trunk, and she found it. And, like, Threw she... Away. Nah, like, oh, she okay. looked at it, and she was like, oh, this is, like, cute. But it was, like... I don't know, like, like it wasn't like, oh, like we're just gonna co to, like completely get behind this. Like you're just gonna be a rapper. She was like, oh, this is cute, and then like just oh. back in. It's like, <laughs> it's a phase. <laughs> nah, nah, yo, it's yo. ain't a phase, mom. It's a lifestyle. Uh, my old girl did not want me to be a rapper, bro, because what she just she didn't she didn't like she didn't really like hip hop like that. And like in my house, it was more like R and B, you know, like my. I mean, my stepdad, of course, he was like, yeah, man, you know, even now he's just like, yeah, you know, my mom is just like, no, it's <laughs> evil, you know, until I came out with like one of my first songs, which was like early bird and like way back then. And she was like, oh, um, it's okay. Um, he has no flow. Hot. No, um, yo, 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 I'm <laughs> So I'm great though. The last question, because I know one common thing, even with Monty and our Stop. childhood memories is definitely video games. So, <clears throat> what video games was like helped make your childhood? Like, what was that game? I'm gonna go that with Sonic Over Days. Midnight Club. Let's go around. Let's go around the room with this one. I gotta go. So last. we'll start with Nate. Uh, and you can tell us what system, what game, what. Uh, Think about the one. Don't Try to boil it down to two. Two, at least. Okay. So, the first one was Spider-Man. It was just... It was literally called Spider-Man for the GameCube. Ah, uh, yep. Game, Game of the Year. Yep. Game of the Year edition. Yep. yep. <laughs> um, I had never gotten past the tutorial. I was, <laughs> I was that young that I had no clue what a GameCube was. I had just gotten it, and... To this day, I try looking for the game all the time, but I have no clue where it is. But I didn't get past the tutorial ever, and it frustrated me. And it was just, it was a sad time. But my mom, she was like, don't worry, you'll get a lot of games. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> so that game, it was just the greatest thing, because Spider-Man was my favorite comic and movie. I think the, what is it? I think the original Spider-Man 
came out, um, and after I had played that game, I started having Spider-Man dreams, <laughs> I guess. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah. She went. Yeah. I literally had those dreams. I still remember them. Um, but, yeah. And then, I think the second game, what was my second game? That's why Need for Speed Most Wanted. Need for Speed? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that one. Most Wanted, though. That, I don't know if you ever played Spider-Man on PlayStation. Yeah, I yeah. played it, like, I think three years ago for PlayStation 2. Okay, yeah, that, I remember that Spider-Man game for PlayStation. Monty. All right, so Tron, the original Tron. Uh-huh. Is this a Tron or regular Tron? It's the regular Tron, okay. the arcade, which if you go to Arcade Odyssey... I think 107th near Snapper Creek. They still have the games there. It's still 25 cents. So mm-hmm. I went to this past Friday. So, sure, it's only four games, and it's just all, it's all it is. just four different games and it levels up. But that's one of my favorite games in the arcade. So the Intellivision system that I had was like, if you, liked, if you came from New York, there was either the, the Yankees or the Mets. If you liked the Yankees, which was like 90% of all people, you had Atari. If you liked the Mets, you had Intellivision, which is a small population, but I loved Intellivision. So when they had Intellivision and they had Tron, that's the game that I wanted to play. So cranked up my soundtrack for, for Tron and played that for hours and end until I got like a million points. And that was it. And all it is is like you throw your disc and you hit the Warriors, like three of them you have to fight. The riser, no, the recognizer comes down. You have to throw the disc into his eye to kill it. He goes away and just start over again. So it just repeats over and over again for hours. And it was just like, that was it. That was it. Simple graphics. Just enjoyed it. Television. In television. In television. Basically, it's had better graphics than Atari. But the problem lies because the keypad was like almost like a phone. You had a disc that you would have to move around. And it was cumbersome so what someone thought about i'll take a chess piece pop it on there and now i've got a joystick mm. it was much better but but it was an interesting system uh interest you said something i just have a question for so why did people who like the Mets have been televisions and people like the yankees have ataris because every kid like was always for the popular thing atari was, oh, okay. was okay. the big thing okay. so it's like atari ColecoVision, uh, Intellivision, and then ColecoVision came after that, so everyone was like, oh, let's go on ColecoVision. Okay. So it's a, it's a lesser known gaming system, but it's still an amazing system. Cool, cool. Jermaine? Oh, well, we're talking about video games, right? All right, so PS1, Spyro, bro. Oh. Hop out straight to egg, you feel me? The world is my kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so was saying, yo, yeah. it, it was crazy, man. Um, that Mega Man, I think eight, and it was like this one, this one like sports, uh, football game that was like also like they were gladiators. Mm-hmm. Oh, Blitz. NBA Street, yeah. Blitz. Oh, no, it, it wasn't oh, Blitz. It was NBA, like oh, NFL, was NFL Street Football. Yeah. Nah, bro. Like, nah. They had powers. Gladiators. They had powers. <laughs> I swear, I can show you it, and it's the littlest game. Back then, bro, like it was crazy, bro, because it's like, bro, I got you. But talking about Aspire, though, do you remember, dude, like, I don't know why I have this vivid memory of the Spyro stage is when you're with the dude who's training you to go through, like, this Olympic part in the Yo, scene of Spyro, yes, yes, and you yes, had to follow him, yes. and you had to go through certain things, yeah. dude, that, that's memories right there, what? I used to play Spyro. Yo, that was the hardest thing as a kid, like, not being able to pass around, and then I never had a memory card back then, Ooh. so I had to keep on doing the <laughs> same, same, oh, <laughs> so, so, Kingdom, so Kingdom Hearts hurt me, bro, it really did, like, it made me cry, and then, like, I didn't get a memory card up until, like, PlayStation 2. And then that's when I, I wound up getting a PlayStation 3, not 2 after that. So it was like, yeah. oh, I don't even need a memory card. Yeah. So PlayStation 3 is really where I got to pop it type okay. stuff. But PlayStation 1 and stuff, you know. All right, Lil. I was going to ask, and I'd be scared because there's like a thousand games for me. But um, let's see if I could narrow it down. So you can get like, can I get like 10 in? <laughs> like I can, like I, I can quickly name ten, two, real quick. All right, so obviously Super Mario sixty four. Um, 
I don't know you kids know about this, but there was something, an amazing game called Pokemon Puzzle League, and that is like... Oh. Talk about the one on 64? On 64, yes. Oh, Pokemon like, Puzzle like, League. Like, it's like you're in an arena and go to different arenas and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not. That game was so hard. Pokemon Puzzle League, obviously Kingdom Hearts 2, Midnight Club. Um, let's see. Um, what was in that? Oh, Dragon Ball Z, Tenkaichi Budokai Ooh. 2. That, that one right there was it for me. Uh, but yeah, I think my favorite one is like, was probably Midnight Club. Because I like, I like any racing game. Because mm -hmm. racing games kind of like, I don't know, they just always come easy. Double edition? Hmm? Double edition? Double edition. Double edition. Oh, yeah. Double edition. Yeah. 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 Oh, like, who you think I am? <laughs> but yeah, like. DNA Eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think racing games just always came easy to me. And there's just, like, it's something exciting, like, about, you know, driving that car, you know, and then, like, that kind of. Uh, it kind of made me like drive the way that I drive today. So if anybody knows me, like I break the speed limit like crazy. And I do not condone that. Don't like, don't do that, kids. Just I'm drive the speed the limit. You know, the if it says 30, go 25 just to be on the safe side. But uh, it's <laughs> but such yeah. a hypocrite, you guys. I, I've been, I've been I'm, that's why I'm telling them to I've not been do it. <laughs> 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 but yeah, um. But yeah, I just I just love racing games. So like Midnight Club was just always there like for me, and I will always play like story mode. Like if I'm second place, that doesn't suffice. I got to be first. First, like, every yeah. Time. That's, that's, that's just me. I wonder where the evidence for that is. <laughs> it's always in Brawlhalla, bro. Like Brawlhalla's just. I wish I would like something like Brawlhalla would have been like around like when I was a child. Oh my god. Oh wait, it's like Smash Bros doesn't exist. <laughs> so right, I'm done. Midnight Club was definitely a dope game. It was true. For sure. Those rims and bro, yeah, it's and all the drop I'm on. in Los Angeles and the new one though. Mm -hmm. Your so your your games. Um, I got one game. Okay. I got one game. Um, it's Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Okay. Yeah. No, okay. That's one of I had, listen, man. One Wait, which thing one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Be specific. Them. All of them. Listen, one thing I don't know about me, bro. I bought every Call of Duty that ever came out. Oh. Every one really? uh, ever came out, and I played every so single. We're I got talking about that your life out We're talking about <laughs> the <laughs> first Call of Duty before first Modern Call of Duty. Call of Duty World War. World War. Yeah. You feel okay. me? Call of Duty World War. Wait, was that the first it one? Was, it was. That was World War first, Three. No, World War Three. That was World Modern War. No, no. So the first World Call of Duty was about World War Two. No. Yeah. It was World at War. Was the first one. You feel me? Call of Duty World at War. You feel me? And then they got um, Call of Duty 2. Call of Duty 2. Then, they, then it was Modern Warfare 3. You feel me? Because they, they didn't actually, what people thought they was going to do yeah. was make a Call of Duty 3, then make a COD 4. You feel me? But they never did that. Yeah. Because they just came out with World War 2 and stuff. You feel okay. Me? Yeah, something like that. Something but like that. Yeah. What, what made it, what made it so live is that I had this, all right, where I got my name from, what people be calling me, or rapping. You feel me? I'm on. Juvie. Oh, you feel me? Okay. I got it off of playing video games. You feel me? I had this friend. I don't know why he used to call me that. Like, he'll just say it over and over. I said, All right, I made a gamer tag one day. It's called Ba Juvie. You feel me? It's my Gmail line, everything. You feel me? Like, for well, real. I lived by it. So, <laughs> yeah, I lived by it. I took the name and I lived by it. Like, All right, so what you don't know is I trick shot. You feel me? I used to trick shot growing okay. up. So, we, we had different, we had teams, and you feel me? We had feeders, trick shotters, and editors. I was, I started off as an editor. You feel me? My friend showed me how to work the software to do um, the, the videos. You feel me? How to do the VFX effects in the videos. Yeah. I started off as an editor. Then I, when I went to trick shot is when I bought my first Elgato. You feel me? When I got my Elgato, I set it up. Boom, We've been boom. in the life. Exactly. You feel me? <laughs> been out like, here. So when I, when I, um, that trick shot, we'll take it to a whole nother level. Like on um, World War Two. I mean, yeah, Modern Warfare. Two was yeah. the first game that I ever hit my first trick shot on. Even though I was trying to hit trick shots a long time ago, it was the first game I hit my first trick shot on. It was on the map Rust. It was in the beginning of the game, you feel me? Like, spawn trick shot, I ran up at the top. I did a 720 um, double, uh, 720 wah wah. Nah, 720 man. insta swap? Nah, wah wah. We don't, we, you can't insta swap in World War II, and Modern Warfare 2. That's what yeah. you don't remember. You can't insta swap. Then, boom. So I why why I basically basically Boy, I did a I basically <laughs> I did a phase temper shot, you feel me? 
no phase. Y'all don't know about that. Oh. <laughs> oh, but yeah, wouldn't that be that a phase made, that, made, that made gaming for me, you feel me? Because mm. with those with those videos, you can go on YouTube right now. Yeah, that's what I was gonna me? ask. Like, yes. are they on YouTube? Yeah, like you can go on YouTube right now. And look at them. You feel me? Back then, we I had Huns. I had like I had a bunch of different names, Dreams, and this one clan that stuck with me was Sky. You feel me? When we started, it was Sky City Origin. You feel me? Yeah, I you feel see. me? Okay. Scott City Origin, you feel me? This, um, I gotta, this clan, I gotta see. we got over, look, we got up to 29,000 or 30 some thousand subscribers on YouTube before one of the, um, one of the co-leaders of the clan got mad and he was the, like, he was, he wasn't the founder, but he was a co-leader and he actually had the password to the YouTube and everything because he had, was in contact with better editors, so they gave him a password one weekend, boom. And he changed all the passwords and deleted most of the videos. So now it's not like a game. It's not a trick shot channel no more. Now you'll probably see like videos of somebody doing a tutorial or something on it. You feel me? But back then we was hitting like, like I was I was hitting crazy trick shots. You feel me? On the map Carrier when Black Ops 2 came out. Hey. I would hit a, um, when I tell you my <coughs> first Black Ops 2 trick shot, it was a, it was a 1080 insta swap into a knack swap. You feel me? You feel me? <laughs> y'all don't, I'm telling you, listen, y'all don't, I'm telling you, 1080 instant swap into a neck swap, you feel me? Boom, wall bang, it was suicide, wall bang on carrier in the bottom, you feel me? Like, I can go, bro, we can go look at these trick we'll shots. We'll do it right? after, we'll do it after. Gotta go look at these shots, you feel me? Yeah. Like, and that made me, you feel me, like, that That started off with my, my YouTube experience, you feel me? Mm. Um, and with video games, that actually boosted me. Like, before phase, we was doing that trick shot stuff before phase. You feel me? You see phase trick shot now hit like 720s still and 360s. We was when we when we was doing it, man. We took it to a whole nother level, like 1080s, 1400s. Like, you feel me? Wow, that was, that's cool. Man, cool. Hectic suicides. Like. The skate series. I forgot right. about that. All right, so uh, Lionel. And my favorite game had to be like GTA San Andreas. Yeah, Life is getting out of play. Yeah, it just stuck to me. Love it. What? How come? See, I was like, he's black, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. It's a yeah, black, like, you know, he's a black dude, you know, CJ. He was just live, you know? He's kind of like a gangster or whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. He could earn street cred, make people respect you and stuff like that. It, it was live, you know? Okay. Um, Mine, I'll make it quick. My top two is definitely, uh, I don't know if you guys know this game, Killer Instinct. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Killing Instinct. Oh my gosh, me and my dad. That was, that was a Killing Instinct. They, it came out for an Xbox or yeah. new one. I played it too. I was oh dope at Killing Instinct. It made me. I don't know. It was just very cool. You're not dope was, at Street Fighter or Brawlhalla. <coughs> Dude, Killing Instinct is way better though. I don't know. That robot character always just stuck with me. It was just it was real dope. And my second one would be um, a mod, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare. Um, I remember one day, me and my dad we played to. Oh, we, I did not go to sleep. I had school the next day, and we played to complete the story mode, and I did not go to sleep, and I had to go to school, but he was okay with it. He let yeah. me, he allowed me to. And so I went to school, dude, I was so tired during school, and I definitely went to sleep after, but I didn't go to sleep that day, and I remember it was Modern Warfare, yeah. wow, and that's we that's played it, beat the story mode, so Call of Duty, definitely. I'll, I'll play you, Amon. I think I'll beat you. But. <laughs> Listen, in Call of Duty World War Two. Listen, bro. I don't use regular guns just for the simple fact that it's it's too easy. You feel me? I use I literally go in there and drop thirty kills with a sniper with the um with the car all the time, every time. Okay, you might be better than me. I, I'll give it to you. All right, you guys. So that's gonna be our podcast. And then uh, next week we have the countdown to the Avengers: Infinity War. So yep. we'll be talking about Avengers stuff next week. Cool. Thank you, guys.